Uh, this is a really short tutorial. Um, Google just released Medgemma. Uh, this is a Google model, and you can learn more about that on the uh, developer site here. If you click on this link and take a look, Medgemma is a collection of Google's most capable open models. Um, it was built on Gemma 3, which I've used a lot. Hopefully, you've used it. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, actually, even the 4B model is great. So, they've uh, made the Medgemma model both in the 4 billion parameter version and also a 27 billion parameter text only version. The 4 billion one actually is multimodal, and which is what we're going to play with today. It's a, really a pretty interesting model, and I hope you have a fun time playing with it. So, uh, first of all, let me just say I just uh, took this code from a notebook that Google already had made and just tried to clean it up a lot, um, got rid of a lot of the uh, extra code in there. And this is just a very simple tutorial, which will allow you to look at a chess x-ray, which is stored on your own Google Drive. And hopefully once you get this thing working, um, I, you know, you can play around with it, uh, choose different models from Hugging Face, you can choose new different system prompts and also some user prompts. So it's just a simplification of the original notebook uh, put out by Google. So take a look at that if you want to use the original one. It's actually much more comprehensive than what I have here. Um, the first step is this first line of code. I've actually done all this already, so we're not going to load it in again. Um, you just run some code here. Uh, the main issue here is you're going to make sure that you have your Hugging Face token, which you should find. You should actually put in secret. So if you go to Hugging Face, you can make a just a simple read-only token, copy that token, and then make sure it's activated here with this click to activate it, and saved here under HF token, and it should work fine. If you have any questions on how to use tokens, um, you can probably find videos online, and also go ahead and over to the Hugging Face website, and you can see how to use it there. Next tip is you want to mount your Google Drive. Um, you click on yes, we're going to be using this Effusion uh, file for a chest x-ray that we're going to use and take a look at. Okay. So make sure you've loaded up some chest x-ray, um, on your system. You can look online, um, just search under Google images. You probably can find something that you can play with. Now, um, the nice thing is that Google is set up so that if you ever, if you don't really understand some code, you're not really sure what it's doing. Um, Google has really made it very easy to understand the code that's been here. So if you just click here, on this, you can just click on this and explain code, and it'll actually explain the code. So even though I've gotten rid of a lot of the excess code that was in the original notebook, um, if you still need some information on what these tokens are, what they do, um, what these commands are, you can simply do explain by clicking on this Gemini button here. It's pretty amazing. Next step is you have to install some basically, uh, just some basic dependencies uh, from the Hugging Face site um, this line of code will not work unless you have your Hugging Face token, so make sure you've done that already. Um, it'll load up those libraries. Next, you're going to need to uh, bring in the model. Now, you may run into a little bit of a hiccup here. There are tons of models that I want you to play with. I'm currently going to use the Medgemma-4B-IT model, which is under Google. You'll need to get permission to use that. So if you go to the models page, this model page on Hugging Face, and uh, click uh, where it says accept the license. Um, you can go ahead and use that model. This applies to many models. Uh, we're gonna need to have permission before you can actually use them. And there's just some other uh, boiler code. Once again, if you don't really understand what this code does, just go ahead and click here and say explain code. And if you wanna add code, you can always add code here. It talks about here, uh, model ID, this line sets the model ID, the variable is set to Google slash Medgemma dash 4B dash IT. And this is gonna be located on the Hugging Face Model Hub. So once again, if you're in problems using this model, go ahead and go to the Hugging Face Model Hub, search under this Medgemma dash 4B dash IT, and it'll tell you what to do. Most likely you just have to click a button so that you can actually access that model. Once that's done, you can load up also some code here, which is simple, just actually look at images. Now we start getting into the meat of the code. Um, it's been uh, very simple so far. You've got to load up from Hugging Face the transformers pipeline function, which is a very simple function, allows you to basically use the transformer model from Hugging Face to use our models in a very simplified way 
uh, which I will show you below. So once you've loaded up the model, this is the core part of the question and answer system. I've actually made it really simple for you to use. Uh, Learn these tricks actually from the original notebook. It's actually pretty nice. You can basically put in a pathway to your image. So in my case, if I click, this is the image I'm going to use. If I just click on here, I can copy the path. And I actually, actually put the path to that image right in here. So I've already done that for you. And it's way down in here um, in the Medgema Colab Effusion1.jpg. Okay. Next thing you need to know, I uh, need to do in this part of the code is you need to put in the system instructions. Um, in this case, I'm saying you're a senior radiology attending. You can put in there, you are a senior emergency physician. Um, you're an internist. You're a internal medicine resident. Whatever you want to put in there, you can put in the system instruction. And then you're also going to put in the prompt. Specifically, what you want to say, describe this chest x-ray, which we're going to have below. You can also give some history if you want. Uh, chest x-ray. You can put in here, patient has significant shortness of breath. Okay. You go ahead and run this code. And then now this is the, the meat of the code is you're going to see the output is going to take this message here and pipe it into the model that we're going to be using, which is the Medgemma model. So if you click here, it will run Medgemma 4B model. I'm going to run it this one time here to kind of give you a sense of how uh, long it takes. In order to run these models, probably should have said this earlier, you need to have a GPU, otherwise it's going to go way too slow. Although I think you probably could run it with CPU as well. If you click on here, I've connected to the T4 runtime. The Google Colab gives you free, there are a certain number of hours free per day of usage. So um, all you need to do is have a Google account and use it. It's actually pretty amazing. So it goes through it and says here, describe this chest x-ray, patient has shortness of breath. Here's a chest x-ray. Um, you don't have to be uh, a doctor to understand what's going on here. It's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, this is the heart. This obviously looks different on this side versus this side. This is an infusion here. Let's see what it says here. Okay, based on the x-ray provided, my interpretation is a senior radiology attending. X-ray shows a large opacity in the right hemothorax, obscuring the right hemidiaphragm and right lung markings. Goes through some key findings, gives a differential diagnosis here, possible cardiac causes, heart failure, pericardial effusion, some pulmonary causes, and some other causes here. So obviously this is not expected to be used for medical use at all. This is merely a tutorial where I want you guys to have and actually play with it. And where I really think is the easiest way to play with this code is just to change images, find different images that you want to put in there, see what comes out, try different system instructions, you can say you're an attending, you can say you're a patient, you can put anything you want there. And then in the description, if it's a chest x-ray, you can give some history or uh, something else, if it's a skin finding or something else. This model is pretty extensive. And once again, if you want to find out more about this model, uh, go ahead and click on this site, click on this site here, and it'll tell you all about um, the images that the model was trained on. So. I hope you find this uh, tutorial really pretty easy to use. I'm going to have this code loaded up on my GitHub. And so you can just copy this code and get it running. The only tricky things I would say that you need to be able to do is number one, make sure you have your HF token, which is here, which is going to have to be uh, saved here. And you'll have to get that token from Hugging Face. Uh, just set up a, that token is free. None of the stuff I'm asking you to, that you need to do for running this code is going to cost you anything. Um, so make sure you get that token on there. And then the second thing you need to do is if you're using Medgemma 4B-IT, you'll have to go to that Google page on Hugging Face and accept the license. So once you've done that, this will work really well. And uh, obviously, if you don't get this working, what I would recommend is go to the original notebook, uh, which you can find at Google. I'm going to go ahead and click on this here. And you can see that here. And they have a very extensive uh, let's take a little bit of time to load here. A uh, very extensive instruction set on their GitHub. And you're going to download this and use this one instead if you like that better. And then once you learn how to use it from theirs, you can come back here 
And I've made this code really simple because what I'm expecting you is to modify this code and labor this anymore. Um, hope you got something out of this. Once again, uh, play with this. Uh, why am I probably gonna put in here something else? Uh, shorts of, I'm gonna put in here patient was in an MVA. <coughs> with chest trauma. And I'm gonna change this instead of radiology attending and put in here your emergency physician attending. See what it does. And I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And I'm also gonna run this code again here. Once again, I'm gonna let this code run. Um, you can go ahead and obviously fast forward, but I want you to get a sense for how long it takes, even though I'm running this on um, one of the GPUs provided by Google for free. And let's see what it, what it comes out to. Looks like it's taking 29 seconds here, 30 seconds, doot, doot, doot. And there you go. So once again, this is my, uh, describe this chest x-ray. Patient was an MVA with chest trauma. Here's the interpretation. Uh, shows the large right-sided hemothorax. Left lung is clear. And what do they say in this case here? Uh, it's most likely a hemothorax. That's based on the history, right? Chest trauma is probably hemothorax. So, um, this is really fun to play with. Uh, I hope you had enjoyed this short tutorial. Uh, go ahead and um, give it a try and have a great day. Thank you.